In early 2021, it was announced that an entirely new Pokemon game would be released sometime in the early part of 2022. It's called Pokemon Legends Arceus, and legions of Pokemon fans around the world are hotly anticipating the so-called open-world game that is coming to the Nintendo Switch gaming system. So today we're looking at how Pokemon Legends Arceus is almost here, but will it destroy the Pokemon legacy? You do not want to miss this. First up, we'll discuss this new and exciting Pokemon world. This new Pokemon world is vast and is guaranteed to provide gamers with thousands of hours of play. In February of 2021, the Pokemon Company released the new Pokemon Legends Arceus trailer that featured some seriously wild, magical, and action-adventure-packed gameplay that is sure to leave diehard Pokemon gamers salivating for more. In the trailer, you can see a trainer given three separate Pokemons from entirely different regions. The trailer shows the trainer with Cyndaquil from Jota, the Pokemon Rolette from Olala, and Oshawott from the land of Unova. Pokemon Legends Arceus takes place in the mystical region of Sinnoh, and the trainers look kind of similar to the trainers you may have played in the hugely successful Pokemon game Diamond and Pearl that was released back in 2006. But the team of video game designers decided to do something a little different for Pokemon Legends Arceus, and wanted to pay homage to old school Japanese artists and gave the trainers some old school Japanese flair. Next up, we'll take a sneak peek at Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay. In the trailer, we see a trainer hurling old Pokeballs at wild Pokemon and capturing them without having to do battle. The detailed landscape of Pokemon Legends Arceus enables gamers to use the world's lush greenery for cover while on the hunt for Pokemon. But don't worry, because there will be plenty of opportunities for battling as you progress throughout the game. Be prepared for Arceus, the Pokemon God, to be a big part of the game. You can also expect to see four brand new Pokemon, Weirdeer, Basku Legion, Hisui Bravery, Hisuon Growlithe, but you'll notice is a lack of gyms or Pokemon League, so gamers will need to fill their Pokedexes. If you're a Pokemon gamer, then you'll remember the incredibly popular Pokemon Sword and Shield game, which sold millions of copies around the world. But there were definitely some gameplay issues with Pokemon Sword and Shield, such as less than stellar graphics and a relatively short campaign duration. To be honest, this annoyed millions of Pokemon gaming fans around the globe, and so the fans are now hoping that the Pokemon company has heard their comments and complaints, and have addressed those issues in the upcoming Pokemon Legends RCS game. So naturally, many fans are both excited and worried at the same time. Up next, we'll answer the question, will Pokemon Legends Arceus destroy the Pokemon legacy? And simply put, the answer to that question is no. Many Pokemon gaming critics feel that for years the franchise has been at an impasse and staying true to classic role-playing game RPG traditions. Gamers have been saying for years that the Pokemon franchise has been in need of a facelift, a new direction. Many feel that Pokemon Legends Arceus will be the breath of fresh air that the franchise has so desperately needed. According to many gaming insiders, Pokemon Legends Arceus will be the first step in this new direction. In fact, Josh Lewis, gaming expert and creative writer, had this to say about the upcoming Pokemon Legends Arceus game. He called it a radical departure from the tried and true Pocket Monsters formula we're also familiar with, taking the series into a truly open world for the first time. Next up, we'll dive deeper into this new and exciting Pokemon world. So now that you know you can expect a Pokemon game unlike anything you've ever seen before, we'll try and walk you through what you'll actually be doing throughout the game. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, you'll have to compile the Sinnoh region's first ever Pokedex. The game takes you back in time before the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl era. You'll also be tasked with solving the mysteries surrounding the Pokemon God Arceus. From the start of the game, you'll be a key member of the Galaxy Expedition team, which is composed of various people from several regions who have joined forces to venture through the magical Sinnoh region. Additionally, you'll serve as a member of what is known as the Survey Corps, 
Survey Corps members are responsible for going on missions to not only catch, but also study Pokemon and learn as much as you can about them. While playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, your base camp will be located in the Joomba Life Village. And from there, you'll venture off into different regions of the Sinnoh region for special expeditions. These expeditions will include fierce battles with pocket monsters, acquiring tools and supplies, and you'll even be able to mount large Pokemon that can help you explore. Honestly, gamers, how cool is that? Up next, we'll discuss some comparisons to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Some gamers are comparing the upcoming Pokemon game to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The Legend of Zelda franchise is considered by many to be one of the greatest role-playing game franchises in the world. Others have compared the latest installment of the Pokemon franchise to the famed Japanese Monster Hunter franchise. Moving away from traditional RPD gameplay, the designers of Pokemon Legends Arceus felt that battles should take place right on the playing field. Players will have the ability to start a battle in real time by putting captured Pokemon on the playing field near wild Pokemons, thus initiating battles. January 28, 2022 is when this wild new Pokemon game will be released for your gaming pleasure. So be sure to mark your calendars if you're a fan of the old Pokemon games. You'll love exploring this new region and world. We'll have a ball tracking and hunting down some very rare Pokemon. Next up, we'll look at the feelings of nostalgia that you'll get when you play the new Pokemon Legends Arceus game. One thing you'll love, whether you're new to the world of Pokemon gaming or not, is the feeling that you'll get when you head out on a brand new expedition with your starter Pokemon. Remember that you'll only be able to choose one out of the following three Pokemon. Cyndaquil from Pokemon Gold and Silver, Oshawott from Pokemon Black and White, Rolette from Pokemon Sun and Moon. For those of you who have played Pokemon in the past, those old nostalgic feelings will come right back as you set out on your new adventure and build a team of trusted friends to stand by your side as you explore the Sinnoh region. Hopefully the brilliant minds behind the development of the Pokemon franchise franchise games will continue to push the series in a new direction and change with the times. After all, it's certainly possible to move the game forward while maintaining elements of the past. Video game designers and developers just have to do what they do best and get creative. One thing's for certain, if Pokemon franchise wishes to compete with other new franchises, it'll undoubtedly have to adapt and evolve. Sink or Swim Up next, we'll look at past versus future Pokemon gameplay. As recently as 2019, we saw Pokemon Sword and Shield, and it was the first time that a wild area could be explored thanks to players being able to control the camera and actually move around the vast expanse. Throughout Sword and Shield gameplay, players would have to earn gym badges in order to move on to subsequent gates, and you couldn't capture any Pokemon until you reached a certain level. Also, when traveling from village to village, players didn't have the luxury of really exploring the environment. The path for each player was present when the game was designed. It's clear how something like that could be viewed as a drawback by gamers because after a while, it could make gameplay a little dull. In the past, with games like Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, or Pokemon Coliseum, we were able to see some decent examples of the Pokemon franchise breaking tradition and taking creative risks. Those two games had unique storylines while still maintaining Pokemon traditional so-called battle formula. It'll be amazing to see Pokemon Legends RCS new 3D environment. Finally, we'll look at the future of the Pokemon franchise. The recent footage released by Game Freak, the current designers of the Pokemon franchise, looks promising, and the 3D gameplay appears to be running smoothly. Gamers are super excited about the new game because it may save the franchise, which, according to some industry insiders, has been on a steep decline for the past 20 years. From a business standpoint, it's a huge risk for the Pokemon franchise to take such a big risk and come out with a new game like Pokemon Legends Arceus. However, if they've hedged their bet correctly, it's a risk that could pay huge dividends and yield a substantial reward. If successful, this new game will reinvigorate the franchise and usher in a new era for Pokemon and its millions of fans around the world. On Friday, January 28, 2022, Game Freak and the world will finally get its answer. Within days or weeks, weeks of the game being released, the internet will surely explode with chatter and the reviews and opinions will light up the blogosphere. Thank you for listening and watching. More exciting and informative videos are on the way.